The FlexiCare heated wire breathing systems are intended to provide warmed and humidified inspired respiratory gases to ventilated patients and those receiving respiratory support. Before opening the sterile packaging, check that the breathing system is the correct type, the packaging is not open or damaged, all parts are present and intact, and the expiry date has not passed. Set up the FL9000 respiratory humidifier heater following the instructions included in the operating manual. The use of breathing circuits, humidification chambers, and other accessories which are not approved by FlexiCare may result in suboptimal performance and may place the patient at risk. Fit the humidification chamber to the heater plate by applying downward pressure on the spring-loaded front guard and sliding the chamber into position. Unravel the delivery set and connect to the sterile water bag or bottle using the vented spike. The pinch clamp should be closed. Remove the protective cover from the humidification chamber and discard. Attach the short blue inspiratory limb to one of the chamber ports and to the ventilator inspiratory port. Connect the angled elbow of the inspiratory limb to the outer port of the humidification chamber. If required by the hospital policy, use a high efficiency filter between the inspiratory limb and the ventilator port. To protect the ventilator, Hospital policy may also require a bacterial viral filter on the ventilator expiratory port. Connect the elbow of the white expiratory limb to the ventilator expiratory port or expiratory port filter if used. Connect the pressure line to the proximal airway port and the flow sensor to the ventilator. Connect the heated wire lead to the DIN socket on the side of the FL9000 respiratory humidifier heater. If using a dual heated wire adapter lead for a dual heated wire system as in this case, the shorter of the two leads is inserted into the clover leaf connection on the elbow of the inspiratory limb. The longer lead of the dual heated wire adapter is attached to the elbow of the expiratory limb. The temperature probe lead is inserted into the jack socket on the side of the FL9000 respiratory humidifier heater. The central chamber outlet temperature probe is positioned into the sensor port in the angled elbow of the inspiratory limb. When an incubator is used, such as in this scene, the probe at the end of the lead is inserted into the sensor port at the end of the inspiratory heated wire limb and before the incubator extension. Attach the flow sensor to the patient end Y piece and cap. If an incubator is not used, remove the incubator extension and attach the inspiratory heated wire limb closer to the patient end Y piece. The temperature probe is inserted into the sensor port at the patient airway end of the inspiratory limb. Attach the flow sensor to the patient end Y piece and cap. Check that the probes are firmly seated to avoid leaks and ensure the tip is correctly positioned in the center of the limb to provide accurate and reliable reading. Connect the ventilator to the gas supply and carry out the functional tests following the ventilator manufacturer's instructions for use. Once functional testing is complete, open the pinch clamp and allow the sterile water to flow into the humidification chamber. Only when the chamber contains water and respiratory gases are flowing through the breathing system should the FL9000 respiratory humidifier heater be turned on, selecting the appropriate mode and settings. If the advanced settings mode was used to manually adjust the airway or chamber temperatures for the previous patient, these set temperatures will remain as the default unless changed during startup. Refer to the instructions for use on how to manually alter or restore the default temperatures. Finally, connect the patient end of the breathing circuit to the patient airway or delivery device and begin ventilation. Complete the enclosed self-adhesive label, noting the date, time, lot number and change date of the breathing system and attach to the end of one of the limbs. If using a single heated wire breathing system, monitor the level of condensate in the self-sealing water trap and empty the container as required. Please refer to the instructions for use for full guidance, warnings and cautions relevant to FlexiCare's ventilator breathing system.